What is up guys? Welcome back. We are playing The Designer's Curse Chapter 1. This is by uh, CB Games, uh, Christian Branford. Uh, played a few games by him, so I'm looking forward to this. Finally getting to it. He released it not too long ago. You can find it on Game Jolt. I'm not sure if it's on itch.io as well, but it's on Game Jolt for sure. Did I just get thrown down here? Uh, can't see. I did. All right. Press left. Left mouse button to interact with objects. Hold the mouse wheel to rotate. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. To rotate. Whoa. Ah. Oh, cool. There's nothing in here. This is potty books. <laughs> said something about rotating. How? Uh, oh, you can lean. I can lean. Is that an outlet? Is there an outlet down here? Woohoo! I got power at least. Can I have my laptop? Anything in here? No. Can I even open this? Yes. Oh, goodness. Okay. This door is forced shut. Righto. Oh, let's see. Wow, books in a weird stack. Fat stacks. To be honest, they're down there for a really long time. When they started to go insane, that's when Master decided to set up the entertainment room. I mean, I guess he isn't as cold as he seems. The whole point of it was so that he could lock the door to the entertainment room if anyone misbehaved as a sort of collective punishment. It was a strange room, weirdly out of place wallpaper and that mysterious piano sitting in the end of the room for that crazy one. Oh, who's the crazy one who has the piano there, Christian? I don't know. But hey, it's something. They've got good books too. I'll keep you updated on my escape. It may be a little ambitious, however, I am planning on watching Master enter the code into his study. When I see it, I'll be sure to leave a note somewhere in the entertainment room for you if you dare to escape as well good luck the outside world is not as he is not as master portrays it okay oh, this must be the entertainment room in here oh no tab oh got a notebook and I can write down notes uh. Okay, so I just tried to like, you know, as that thing says there, but you can't tab and you can't remember what you just read that I know of. So kind of that seems pointless to me because you'd have to go back and forth. So I just went ahead and did it the old fashioned way and wrote it down on a piece of paper right here. So, code was three one four two one six eight nine three. Ah, this is a nice little room. Is there some sort of hiding mechanic? Very odd room, and why would that camera be just looking right there? Got a key. That looks familiar. Hmm. What is the key for? I'm guessing it's something for over here, right? Unlocked. Alright. Oh, that door shut? Yeah, it did. Notebook to view note. Find a way out. Okay. This door is four shut. I don't see anything in there. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Hmm. 
control room. Okay. Oh! Oh! I knew it! I think we can hide in there, but... walk down the other way? It's whatever. I love how you always tilt your head too, like that's gonna help. Is that a skeleton? way. No, no, no. Go the other way. Oh, shit. Looking for the key to open the lever in the cabinet control room. I simply left it behind it for you. Oh. Also, please get someone to fix those doors. I know the main door down to the slaves area is locked. And each individual cell, the doors swing a full 180. So there is no lock. And no way to stop the prisoners from escaping apart from barricading the door with all the used boxes. Also, one of the slaves downstairs was attempting to escape. So he's been sent off with the others, idiot. Oh. What is in here? A window. Just psh, we're out. Wait, what? What's going on? West Hall. So we're back. We went from niceties to this. It's so dark, but I do I do have the gamma turned up from the last time we had a game, so. Yes, well done, Albert. The key is here. However, you may soon realize that the door to the west hall above the cellar will now be locked. Oh no, boo-hoo. <laughs> you must stay locked down here for three days. After all, you designed the fracking. There's not much I'm going to need from you for a while. If you dare disobey, your family will be taken out of the east prison and straight into the torture chamber. Later, you will be forced to use them as body parts for the creature. Oh, and if you dare try to escape like last time and attempt contact authorities, I will instantly notice your absence. Then your family will be dead. I also don't appreciate your comment about a giant window in one of the testing room bedrooms. Yes, I watch them at night, but only so I can quickly check and see if they're up to no good. I'm developing a new potion for you if you misbehave again. It will temporarily disable the right atmosphere of the brain and you will not remember any of your creatures temporary i may need i may need you again i will force you to go through the halls of the house having to deal with your own creatures that you designed yourself although i don't currently have a reason to put you through this don't give me one after all there is a curse and being a designer Oh, 
Oh, I don't like that. Noise. Jesus, dude. See, you guys can see. I can't, unless I look over here. But then. Okay, good. Let's break a window and leave. I want to leave. Can I leave? I want to leave. I don't like this. It's boarded up on the inside, making it hard to get out. <laughs> uh, unlock the door with the key. What happened to the door? Just automatically opening. Here. C O C O Oh, my bad. Why is there a big rock right there? Grandma? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so I hear a piano playing. Is that picked up lantern? It can be used. Oh wow, that sucks. A one. <sighs> I don't want to use a lantern. You guys can see fine. What is this? D2. Am I gonna die while I'm trying to do this? What is that? B9. Oh my god. Nineteen oh two? Get me out of that crap. I hate freaking crap that constantly goes through your ears and stuff like that. August 3rd, I initially I was puzzled by the hall outside the guest room being riddled with rocks and wondered how it could be that the West Hall is clearly above ground, but this area on the same floor appears to be underground. I was told this was due to the mansion being on a steep hill, which makes sense. I do not feel safe. Areas of the study are collapsing and filled with rocks and dirt from above. How do I know this will not fall on me when I'm creating the creatures, or even worse, sleeping? Master will simply come find me and bring me to the torture rooms if I dare complain. I am terrified for my life. On the bright side, I put together the new torture monster for Master last week, the Frecken. Or Frecken? So I was given a bed. She is perfectly capable of attacking due to the sharp blades in her left knuckles. Unlike the other creatures, Spiky, who attacks the prisoners with two fight fingers. However, the woman who modeled the head of the Fracken had her eye removed during torture. Therefore, she may have death issues with attacking and will not be entirely accurate. I gave her the husband's strong legs so she will be fast enough. Do I find it messed up to be taking people's family members in which my master has grudges against and torturing them into horrifying creatures? Turning them, sorry. Yes, it is better than dying. Is it better than dying? I previously thought so, but now I feel I should end my life as a fracken came into my room again last night and I feel I have no reason to go on living. So we gotta move that bit out of the way. Let's go in here first. Aliens. Testing area below.
Wow, this is nice and slow. Okay, good. I was like, please don't have us do that the whole time. Odor, oil below, apply, body, and clothes, and you will not be noticed. Remember when you forgot to put them here? Well, now I've returned the favor. How are you going to cope? Oh, no. He has the key for the cabinet. It's somewhere in the test hall. Sorry, not sorry. Great. Got a key. Oh. Hello, baby. this <laughs> all right do I want to come in here that big gap oh this is so broke Let me the hell out of- oh my god, dude. This is a big giant pain in the freaking ass right here. Are we okay? Trap down here? Maybe not. The Designer's Curse. Okay, so that was The Designer's Curse Chapter 1 by Christian Branford and um, CB Games. Like I said, you can find it on Game Jolt. Overall, it was nicely done. Um, I did get a little frustrated with it, but at the same time, it all depends on the mood that you're playing in. And, like, my mood right now is kind of, uh, like I said, um, in another video, I had some work done on my teeth, or a tooth, and, um, you could probably hear it, the way I talk and stuff, because I'm still getting used to the changes there. So, like, I, I'm a little bit on edge on some things, but, uh, overall, nicely done. Um, the shout out to the big YouTubers, come on, what about the, what, what about our little guys? I'm, I'm just joking, I'm joking there. But, um... That was at the end, like I said, I cut that off because I wasn't sure if the music at the end was going to be overly, was going to be copyright. It could be very well that the music in the game as well was copyright. It doesn't matter, but I just, plus it was loud. The ending, the ending music was loud, so I just went ahead and cut out the ending to the game. Basically, it's just a, you know, thank you for playing and um, talk, you know, gave credit to some of the stuff that he did use. So yeah, overall, good game. I enjoyed it. 
and I look forward to the second chapter whenever that comes. And uh, like I said, I always enjoy typically game. Typically, why did I say that? I always enjoy games um, by CV. So you know, it's really cool to uh, to finally play another one by him, even though it took me a little bit longer to get to this one. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button and. Of course, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, until the next one, take care. Peace.